Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you for coming out for this special announcement today. Uh, my name is Tim Packman. I'll be your MC for this uh, quick release, uh, uncover announcement, and we'll have some questions from the people that are involved. Um, is it great? Is PRI looking good again? Look how filled up this is. The greatest racing show on earth. This is amazing. Thank you for coming out, all of you. Today, we are happy to announce that Thad Moffat, that good-looking guy right there, uh, will be joining Scott Legacy Racing in the 2023 Trans Am Series presented by Pirelli and the very competitive 2A2 class. TA2 class, sorry. Thad will pilot the iconic number 43 with full sponsorship from Safety Clean. Gentlemen, at this time, let's show the people this beautiful car you're going to drive. The TA2 class, the Trans Am. Come on, give that thing an applause. That's a beauty. Nice. Uh, Thad has driving experience in several levels of NASCAR and hopes to fine-tune his road racing skills in the Trans Am series. If that number 43 uh, kind of looks familiar, uh, and despite the fact that um, Thad has red hair, doesn't have cool glasses and a hat, he is indeed the grandson of Richard Petty, also known as the King. Uh, we're also here to announce an another great announcement that Safety Clean is joining the Trans Am series as a whole and will be the official parts cleaner of Trans Am and the Sports Car Vintage Racing Association, commonly known as SVRA. That's a good looking car, guys. Good job. Uh, joining us today are John Claggett. He is the president of the Trans Am series presented by Pirelli, Scott Legacy, uh, the junior, the owner of Scott Legacy Racing, of course, Thad Moffitt. And also from Safety Clean, a VIP, Buddy Judy, the Director of Marketing. Uh, John, we're going to start with you. Come on up. I mean, this car, it's a good-looking car. Have you seen it before this? Uh, no, but I saw this picture. And uh, <clears throat> Baby Blue in 43. How iconic is that for the world racing? And to have it uh, on the racetrack in Trans Am competition in 2023, is a very special thing for us. I do have one question for you. Uh, tell us about the Trans Am Series in 2023, and what's it mean to have someone like Thad's involvement in this? Well, I'd like to start off by, if you're not familiar with what a TA2 car is, this is about a $150,000 race car up to about 170000 if you get all the bells and whistles. It's a purpose-built race car, very similar to a NASCAR Cup or Xfinity, and one of the reasons that it's attractive to NASCAR drivers where Thad has come from uh, with ARCA and the truck series is that it's performance and weight to rate, rate, weight to ratio of performance to weight is very similar to an Xfinity Cup car. So about six or seven years ago, we started to see NASCAR drivers come over and get in TA2 cars so that they could perfect their road racing skills. And that's become more and more prevalent where this year a third of the cup entry list are guys that have touched a TA2 car either for testing or one-offs or half seasons and full seasons. So that's just one of the feeder systems to the wonderful success that we've had in TA2. Uh, we're now seeing 40 to 50 car fields where we have some guys that we call young guns, 14, 15, 16 year old guys that will be the future of NASCAR, maybe even Formula One, that have come to the TA2. We have NASCAR guys uh, that are coming over to hone their skills. Guys like Thad now, uh, Christian Bell, a lot of those guys have come to perfect their road racing because of what NASCAR is doing with more and more racing. So that's a little bit about us. We're uh, 13 races around the country, Music City Grand Prix, a street race, Detroit Grand Prix street race, and along with the SVRA and many of the iconic button uh, bucket list racetracks like Watkins Glen and places like that. So we're thrilled to have that. It is a great addition. It will be an eye opener for the world and uh, look forward to having a great successful season. Thank you, John. Appreciate that. Uh, Scott, team owner. Uh, this is your seventh year of owning the team. Uh, as a former NASCAR driver and now an owner, did you ever think one day you would be guiding Richard Petty's grandson through his racing career? 
Uh, not at all. It's a, um, this is a huge honor for us. I've, I've got the ability to get to know Thad pretty well here. Uh, before we, this conversation started about this program, and um, he came to some races with us and, and really earned my respect right away, the way he jumps in, the way he fits with our group. Um, he's a hard worker, obviously a wheel man, so I fully expect uh, great things out of this program this year. And, you know, on our side, we hope to do you a good job from uh, teaching you the left to right stuff. Thanks, Scott. Okay, let's hear from the man himself. That, come on up here. All right. What drew you, I mean, you've done ARCA, truck, all kinds of racing. What drew you to the TA2 class and schedule? Well, first off, I just want to thank everybody for being here. You know, uh, and with the backing from Safety Clean and everybody uh, at Trans Am, Tony Perella and Scott, I know that we can be competitive this year and uh, win races and run for a championship, you know. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, learning from some of the veterans in the TA2 series and uh, fine-tune in my uh, road course ability uh, that I learned a little bit in the ARCA series and, and with the truck series. And uh, just looking forward to having a good year with a winning program like Scott Legacy. Thanks, Ed. Appreciate it. Buddy, Judy, come on up. Uh, buddy, uh, you're the director of marketing. What is it attracted you to get involved with the uh, the Trans Am series and also Thad Moffat as a, as a driver? Well, Tim, thanks a lot. Uh, one of the things that drew us in any time you can deal with an organization or a program that's associated with Richard Petty, it's first class. They're great people to work with. We've been with the Petty since our program first started 30 years ago. And to give you guys an idea how involved Richard is, this was supposed to be a white 43 on top. So I asked Thad, wasn't this a white 43 on a conference call five days ago? And he said, yeah, Grandpa wanted it this color. So it's, it's different than the drawing we had. So it's great to work with Richard. If you guys don't know him, come out to the track and see the Trans Am series. Uh, it's great racing. It's great people. It's old time like NASCAR used to be. Everybody knows each other. It's a wonderful time. And we'd love to have you there. Great people to work with. Uh, we thank you, everyone for coming out here today and spending some time with us. And we look forward to seeing Petty Blue in Victory Lane. Thanks a lot.